Hi everyone, it's Elliot from TutorialEdge.net and in this tutorial we're going to be building a RESTful API using both Express and TypeScript. As always, the full text version of this tutorial can be found on my website and I'll leave a link to this in the description below. So within our project, we're going to be creating a couple of incredibly simple endpoints that will simply return a few different strings and these are going to depend on what HTTP verb is used to hit said endpoint. So navigate into the code editor of your choice. Now for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to be using Visual Studio Code, but feel free to use whatever code editor you're comfortable with. Next, we're going to want to open up the terminal at the root directory for our project and call npm init. We'll then run through this series of questions and specify yes. This will then populate our root directory with a package.json file. Now that we've got our package.json file, let's modify this slightly so that it can run and compile our TypeScript application. Coming back into our article, we're going to steal these three scripts and then replace this test script here. Now, the key script that we're interested in is this watch script at the bottom here. This is going to concurrently kick off both our TypeScript compiler and it's also going to run our built source code as a Nodemon server, like so. Perfect. Now, the next thing we're going to want to do is to import the dependencies we need. So, npm install save dev express concurrently Nodemon. And that should do us for now. Now, when we come back to this, once they've all installed and we try and run npm run watch, we should notice that this fails. And this is because we haven't specified our tsconfig.json file. Now, let's do that right this minute. So create a new file within your project called tsconfig.json. And again, just out of sheer laziness, we're going to come in here and we're going to steal all of these compiler options. Now, within this, we specify where our node modules are resolved, where our types are resolved, and we also specify where all of our source files are going to live. Now, this is going to be in, within a source directory, and it will be within any of the directories and files within that. Let's now create that source directory. Create a new folder called source, and then we're going to start off by creating an app.typescript file. like so. Now this is going to contain all of our express app config and it will also register a few simple endpoints for us. So import express equals require express and now let's configure our application. So const app equals express and app.set the port we wish to run this on, process.end.port or port 3000 if that is unspecified. Next we want to register a really simple root endpoint. This will take in a request and response and it's simply going to return res.send hello world like so. Finally, we want to export this application. So export default app. Save that. And let's now create another file within our source directory called server.ts. Now within this, we're going to want to import our app that we've just created from our app file. And we're going to want to kick off a server. So const server equals app.listen on the ports that we've specified and this will simply do a console.log stating that the app is running on http forward slash localhost oops and and it's going to be in dev mode where's my there it is there and we're going to want to pass in app.get, the port, and app.get, the 
environment like so. Finally, we want to export default server. Let's now try and kick off our run task again. So npm run watch like so. And what have I forgotten? So control C this and then do npm install and add types slash express. Quickly fix this little typo and let's now run this again. So npm run watch and you should see that our server has successfully started on localhost port 3000. Now if we come back into our browser and hit localhost 3000, you should see that hello world is successfully returned. Excellent. So we've got a basic REST API up and running. Let's now try and expand upon this. Let's create a new controller directory within our source directory. Within this, we're going to want to create a status.ts controller. In this, we're going to want to do the following. So import request and response from express. And we're going to want to do a couple of endpoints. So express let hi equals rec of type request and res of type response. And this is simply going to call res.send hello. Let's also do uh, an awesome endpoint. So export let awesome equals rec of type request and res of type response again. And this is simply going to do res.send everything is awesome. Now that we've got these endpoints, let's add them to our application. Open up your app.typescript and at the top do import star as status controller from controllers slash status, like so. And let's get rid of this here and instead do status controller dot high. Now we're also going to want to do app.post awesome and this will hit the status controller dot awesome function like so. Perfect. Save that and then open up your application within the browser again. You should see that our changes have taken shape. Now in order to test our other endpoint, we're going to have to open up a REST client such as Postman. Now enter your URL up here. Our, and this is our slash awesome endpoint. Specify we want to hit this with a post request and then hit send. And you should see that the body returned contains our everything is awesome string. So we know that's working perfectly. Excellent. So in this tutorial, we've managed to successfully set up our own TypeScript based REST API using Express. Now in the next tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can expand upon this and test it using both Mocha and Chai. That's all for this tutorial though. If you found it useful, then please leave a like. And if you loved it, then please subscribe to my channel for more programming content. Cheers.